next verse in Matthew. Well, actually, the last word of the first verse, chapter 15, is saying. Then the question, verse 2, why do your disciples transgress? But instead of just the word saying, Mark has much more description. Verse 5, then the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, why walk not your disciples? So I could say, asked him, saying, but I definitely want to have the rest of what is written in Mark. Mark only, then the Pharisees and scribes. Asked him, and I think I will put that word saying. It's not really necessary, but I don't think it's a problem to have both. Why do your disciples? Why walk not your disciples according to the tradition of the elders? Why don't they do this? Whereas Matthew saying, why do your disciples transgress? Why do they break? Why don't they do what's right versus why do they break what's right? Or at least what they think is right. So, the tradition of the elders. The tradition of the elders. That's the same. So, the first part is the only question. I think I might be able to have both. What should come first? I think, why don't they walk according to... No, I don't think that would work as well. I think it should be, why do your disciples transgress and walk not according to... So why is both... I guess I'll just start with that. Why? Mark has, walk not your disciples. Matthew, why do your disciples? Your is capitalized in Mark, but not in Matthew. Hmm. I think I could just go into, why do, do is from Matthew. Yeah, I'll start with that. Why do your disciples? I'll put capital because if I'm going to have capitalized for everything else when referring to Jesus, I'll keep it here. Then transgress is first. The reason why I'm putting transgress first is because I think it wouldn't sound quite as right to say, why do your disciples walk not according to, comma, and transgress the traditions of the elders. Plus, I don't have a comma in here, so I would have to grab one from far away. But if I have it this way, why do your disciples transgress and walk not According to the tradition of the elders, I think it flows well. I don't need a comma, but I do need an and. And there's no and around here. And walk not. Yeah, I have to have an and. Hmm. This might be a problem. There's no and anywhere. Of all the times 
Now there's no and. I've had like eight inverses before. Are you kidding me? Well, in that case, I'm just gonna have to pick. So should I go with transgress? Or walk not according to? I personally like summaries. I like having more accurate and descriptive, more specific words, even if they're longer, than just having lots of small words. Walk not according to. But I would be cutting out less if I choose those four words. Walk not according to instead of just transgress. I really would have put them both, but I don't have an and. I can't put them both. I think I figured it out. Matthew says, Why do your disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. That for, I think, is the key. And also, in Mark, why walk not your disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? That but is also another key. If I use those two, I think I know how to make it work. This is what I'm thinking. I'll save transgress. I won't put that in yet. I'll just have the whole statement from Mark. Why walk not your disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but... then put in transgress before eat bread I'll put four so it's but transgress for they wash not their hands when they eat bread so they are not doing according to the law but transgress for or because they do this. Why do your disciples, now from Mark, walk not according to the tradition of the elders is both. Tradition of the elders, but from Mark, Matthew, there's just a question mark. So I could stop right there. No. If I put but transgress, for they wash not their hands when they eat bread. That could be its own sentence. Could it? No but transgress. I think that that can't be a start of its own sentence. So I will just put the comma from Mark. Comma. But now from Matthew only, transgress. Oh, I need another comma. <laughs> yeah, I need another comma. Man. I think I'm going to have to put the question mark there. Uh, it doesn't, that doesn't make sense though. No, that doesn't work. I think I'm just going to have to reach. I'll grab the comma from before saying. I'll make that Matthew only. And then the one after the scribes asked him. I'll use that comma here. But transgress. Now from Matthew, for they wash not their hands. In Mark it says, but eat bread with unwashed hands. So should I have eat bread with unwashed hands? For they eat bread with that could work. For they eat bread with unwashed hands, 
Or I could say, for they wash not their hands when they eat bread. That's more wordy. I think I'm going to have to go with that. Just go with the more words. I will say wash is both, even though it's unwashed, all these extra letters, but... Oh, you know what? I have to have it the way it is from Mark, because I haven't used the question mark yet. And only in Mark is it still continuing a question, but eat bread with unwashed hands. For they eat bread with unwashed hands. No, that can't work, because I put a question mark after that. That would be a question asking, for they eat bread with unwashed hands? Question mark? No. I don't think I can start with for they. If I could just have an and from somewhere, it would make it so much simpler. If I'm going to have all the words, it won't work as a question because the last statement will be for they wash not their hands when they eat bread or for they eat bread with unwashed hands either of those are statements for they do this it's not a question I have to have this a question it has to be but eat bread with unwashed hands or I can just have the question mark at the end of elders And then say, for they eat bread with unwashed hands, or wash not their hands when they eat bread. Either way, I don't think I can keep the word transgress. But transgress eating. It would have to be, but transgress. Wait a minute, but transgress. When they eat bread. Oh, look at that. I think I can have but transgress when they eat bread with unwashed hands. Yeah, that would work. Oh, look at that. But transgress. I'll get rid of four and the comma. But transgress when they. And this is still Matthew. Eat bread. Eat bread is both. This is like the most difficult puzzle I've ever had to do. With unwashed hands. With is only mark. With. Now I can put unwashed. The wash part is also from Matthew. Hands is both. With, <laughs> I could say when they eat bread with their unwashed hands. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. With their unwashed hands. <laughs> if they had used someone else's washed hands, they would have been good. <laughs> All right, that is beautiful. I love it. Then the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, saying, Why do your disciples walk not according to the tradition of the elders, but transgress when they eat bread with their unwashed hands? 